Hello people, today I have a small DIY project for you. We are going to make a small gift boxes and little envelopes for gift packaging, jewelry packaging and similar. What you will need are scissors, some type of paper glue and your patterns. I took all the patterns from Pinterest our ocean of ideas thanks to all those nice pe people who gave these patterns for free i will link down below in the description box all their original pins so you can check them out first we're gonna make this heart envelope i printed the, the patterns on colored papers because i want my boxes to be colorful it is even better if you have a colored cardboard or something thicker if you want your boxes to be sturdier, first thing that you need to do is to cut out the pattern. And yeah, side note guys, I'm really bad in cutting straight lines. Although I'm making jewelry and crafts all my life, I'm still struggling with that. This is how your heart looks like. This will be your outside, this will be your inside. And yeah, first you fold these side lines. You take care to go up to this line and to have like normal edges here. Then you use your glue to glue this down and upper part. Are you a fan of a uh, glue smell? <laughs> Since I was a child, I like glue smell. It's weird, I know. <laughs> to finish the envelope, you will fold the upper triangle and take care that your edge doesn't go over the envelope, but your edge goes like until here and you fold it and you have a little envelope. When it, the glue dries, you can open it and here is where you put your note. So it's super cute. And it was easy, guys. See? So, yeah. First, done. The second one that we are going to make is this one. It's a little triangle box. But as you can see, you cut the pattern following these oval parts, not only the triangles. And you punch the holes on the tips of the triangle so you can close the box with a bow. So, let's start cutting the pattern. This is how it looks like. And then first we will fold these oval parts following the triangle lines. So like this. And we will repeat it all around. Like this. Then we will open it for a second to punch the holes. I have this cute little heart shaped puncher. And then we're gonna fold it back and we're gonna fold the triangles following these inner lines. Looks like this is shorter than other ones. Like, Yeah, it is, see? These are tall and this one is shorter. When you cut it, maybe take care to cut a little taller that side. And then I'm gonna use this pink bow to close it. Uh, one end will go through two holes and the other one will go through these two holes. So it's half-half, like this. And we're going to put some earrings in it. I have this pink Paris earrings. It's pink ceramic flower, crystal, rosin quartz, gemstones and little Eiffel Tower. So we'll put them in the box. Yeah. And we will close the box. Oh, super cute, guys. Look at it. I really like this box. It doesn't change the shape at all, even if it's only a paper. It's very cute. So yeah, that was the second box. Third box that we're gonna make is this one. This is the closing part. These are the sides and this is the cover. So yeah, start cutting the pattern.
this is how it looks like and then you fold first this small sides here following the dotted lines We need to glue sides. And repeat this process on these two. This is how the box looks like. As you can see it's a decent size box. We're gonna punch hard in here and we're gonna punch hard in here and we're gonna put a bow. I have this cream bow that goes nice with this color and we're gonna check the sturdiness. We're gonna put some earrings in it. These are tiger eye earrings. Uh, this is tiger eye, smaller pieces, and this is a larger piece of tiger eye. This is palm tree seeds, a little feather at the end. Very pretty earrings, so we put them in a box. Uh, let's see, does it change shape or something? And it looks like this. Because of the bow now, you cannot close it until the end, so you don't have to put the ball. This is how it looks like. This is the kind of box that would be great with the thicker cardboard because it's a decent size box. The fourth one that we'll make is this one. You cut the pattern following these outlines. And this is how it looks like. First we will fold these bigger parts like this. Take care don't, to don't cross this line here. Then you're gonna fold these diamond shaped parts. Then you're gonna fold these small parts. We will use them to glue the box. to the bottom like this wait some time for the glue to dry like this. let's see how it looks like it looks weird now this goes over over this I'm just gonna fold it in my own scenario. And we're gonna glue them. And then you punch the holes on both sides. I'm gonna put some earrings in it. I'm gonna put these ones. These are with crystals, check crystal, this beautiful check glass beads. We're gonna put it in there and we're gonna close it with the red bow because I like that contrast, that yellow red contrast. Here that in the pattern there is no folding of these sides and I would really suggest to fold it but yeah I like this I think it looks pretty cute little box they like when these bows go all over the box so yeah that was fourth one the fifth one that we are going to make is this one for this one you don't need a hole punch or glue just scissors to cut the pattern and to cut these holes. You have these pre-written dotted lines that you 
follow when you fold it. And then you need to cut the holes. If you have scalpel, then you do it with scalpel. But I will do it with scissors. Like this. And then you put the first one through the hole, like this. You put the second one through this hole, like this. And then you put what you want in the box. So I'll put these earrings, metal bow, a metal starfish and blue glass bead. Very summery. Put them in the box. And then this, this second part, oval part, you put through the first hole, like under and through, like this. It's a little bit hard, but like this. And you close it and you make them. It looks very classy. This baby blue color. The sixth box that I'm going to show you today is this one. Just cut the pattern with your scissors. And this is how it looks like when you cut it. And we're gonna fold it now. Like this, two are straight. This one is like something weird. So I'm just gonna make it straight too, to be the same as others. And you just glue it. Then we're gonna put something in the box. Leaf, leaf earrings. Silver metal, it is very shiny ones. Then the way you close it, it's like these two go one in one. And then third one goes between them. It's a little wicked. Little wicked box. Maybe it will be easier if I cut these sides. They can match better like this. So just need the cuts. It does. It makes it a lot better. So you just make the cuts so they can eat each other. <laughs> Like this, hold each other. You can like pull them up if you want to see it better. And it looks like this. It's very sturdy again. And the last one that I have for you today is this one. And it's a purse bag. So this is how it looks like. And you fold it following the dotted lines. You didn't cut these parts actually, you need to cut them too. Just like a little man with hands, see like head and hands. You fold these side parts inside like this and you put the man's hand over this triangle like this but we need to cut like this man hands until the end then you fold it inside so it's completely folded like it needs to look like a little purse while you're at this stage you put what you want in your purse earrings with gemstones and metal swans they are very pretty you put that inside and then you need to cut these holes this is how it looks like when you fold it but i'm not sure why you need these parts actually you don't need them you're just gonna fold them like this inside. I think it would be nicer if we glue it guys. So. 
Yeah, it's much better when you glue it. You glue. I have this little bow. It's very creamsicle, same as the bag. It looks like this. It looks like little purse, you know? With the bow. Little purse and it's very sturdy. It's very cute, right? These are all the boxes that we made today. I'm very happy with them. They look very cute. Some of them are a little bit wrinkled like these ones. But that's because they have those closures. In order to make them, you need to like wrinkle the paper. So I'm not really a fan of that to be honest. But it's very cute how you know fluffy this one is. I really like that one. But I think this is my favorite. Maybe because of the color combo. I don't know. It's, it's, it's very nice. And this triangle one. I like this one the most. Let's comment down below which one you like the most. Maybe like this purse. Or this big one. Or maybe the heart envelope. So yeah, comment down below. I hope you had a great day, guys. And stay safe and sound. And find your inner ground.